whole thing is that I want to do everything. <laughs> um, so, so let's try everything, you know. And he has. At 39, singer Rufus Wainwright has already led an almost operatic life. He's recorded pop albums, written a classical opera, even recreated Judy Garland's famed Carnegie Hall concert. The live recording earned him a Grammy nomination. Inside of me, started a symphony, sing with the strings of my heart. Wainwright recently released his 10th album, Out of the Game. Choking on my bitter tears, my bitter tears, only thing I don't fear you. The artist who Elton John calls the best songwriter on the planet has been open about almost everything in his music. On all fronts of my life, be it with my, my, my sexuality or my family or my, um, my, my relationships, and I don't know why I do that. Do you regret any part of it? I don't necessarily regret it, but I would say that, that it's, um, it takes a toll, you know, and it, and it is difficult to sustain, you know, that kind of honesty. Maybe that's what the game, out of the game business is, is that this isn't a game anymore. You know, it is, it's, uh, I, this, this is my life. <laughs> it's like the apron strings were cut a little bit and, uh... In Montauk, on the far eastern end of Long Island, where Wainwright likes to escape, the singer says his world changed two years ago when he lost his mother, the renowned folk singer Kate McGarrigal, to cancer. What, what role did your mother play with this record? Oddly enough, having died, she's, she's almost more present <laughs> uh -huh. than before. You know, she's sort of, I see her in everything, you know. One day you will come to Montauk and see our dad wearing a kimono. Wainwright, who's long been openly gay, has himself become a parent. The song Montauk is written for his 18-month-old daughter, Viva. One day you will come to Montauk and see Viva's mother is his lifelong friend, Lorca Cohen, the daughter of singer Leonard Cohen. She just wanted another baby, right. and she's in her late 30s, and, right. and, and we're very good friends, and so I obliged her, and uh, we're figuring it out. <laughs> <laughs> Viva's birth was one reason Wainwright decided to settle down. This week, he'll marry his longtime partner, Jorn Wiesbrot. Now, this is where you're getting it's married? This is Shagwan. Yeah, no, we're going to, well, we're not getting married in the bar. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting married at home, but then we're going to have the after party here. Is this a big leap for you? Um, yeah, no, I think it is a big leap. I mean, I mean, I, I don't think, I do believe actually that. You know, there is a there is a difference between gay marriage and straight marriage, though, uh, and and, the, and I'm not sure what gay marriage is yet. Right. But I think we're still in the process of figuring it out. I mean, it's only what like five years old. Yeah. And you will believe in love, and all that is supposed to be. Wainwright's come a long way since breaking through in 1998 with a debut album that had Rolling Stone magazine calling him the best new artist of the year. Did you feel a burden of expectation with that first record? I think there probably was a lot of pressure and, and it was really hard, but, uh, but I was like, bring it on. Mm -hmm. And it didn't all come. <laughs> <laughs> the critical raves did not lead to commercial success. And by 2000, Wainwright was addicted to crystal meth. I was very much um, on a kind of death wish at that point in my life. You know, there was a lot of issues, for instance, that I hadn't uh, come to terms with. Things like I was molested uh, as, a t as a young teenager. By a man he met in a London bar. You got yourself into rehab. Yeah, no, I did. No, I, I did it myself. Yeah. How did you pull yourself out of that? 
I, I, I didn't, I don't want to die. Why am I always on a plane or a fast train? Oh, what a world my parents gave me always. And he had more music to make. The child of two acclaimed folk singers, McGarrigal and Loudon Wainwright III, he quickly took to the family business. My mother claims that I started singing Oh McDonald Had a Farm at six months, like answering E I E I O to her Oh McDonald and then modulating into different keys. I highly doubt that. <laughs> <laughs> but when he was just three, his parents divorced. I read that you said your first conscious memory was was packing up the car and yeah. leaving your father's place? Yes. What do you remember? Very, well, I, I remember the dining room table going into the U-Haul van, or truck, I should say, and um, not quite understanding what that, why that was happening. His mother took Rufus and his sister Martha home to Canada to raise them. For years, Wainwright's relationship with his father was strained. But till then, no daddy, don't be surprised If I want to see the tears in your eyes What effect has your mother's passing had yeah. on your relationship with your dad? Um... It's been good. I mean, it, my father really came through in the end. And I know that wasn't easy for him. We got all the singers? Yep. Okay. For his new album, Wainwright invited his relatives in to sing backup. This time, the invitation included his father. It's definitely Oz and not Ooze, I'd say. <laughs> I think this is actually the first time my dad will be on one of my albums. <laughs> This song that we're going to work on today, I wrote about my mother. It's called Candles. What's, what's interesting about it, actually, that in that recording, is that you, it, you, you really hear my dad um, quite loud in the, in the, in the choir, and, and his voice is just so piercing and so clean and pure. And, you know, it was, I was lucky to have him. He was a real support to me, you know, during, during all of that. OK, bye. 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 Thank you. I owe a lot to him. I try to do all that I can, but the churches have run out of candles. The old saying is true, Wainwright says. A person is born twice, first at birth and again when his mother dies. How do you see that rebirth? I just see everything as so fleeting and so kind of beautiful and so special and magical and 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 and, and heart wrenching and and, um, and and that is sort of the way I want to be at the moment. And for Rufus Wainwright, there is music in that. But the churches have run out of